Hey, you all, and good morning. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Walt Disney World, and even more specifically than that, I am here at Magic Kingdom. Now, I've come here today. This is one of the reasons I made the decision to come to Central Florida when I when I was doing my my, my road trip, and uh, and things started getting cold. I started getting forced out of uh, different parts of the country because of the weather. I decided to head down here to uh, to Central Florida, and one of the reasons for that was today. Today, as we speak, as we stand here, March 26th. It is the final day for the Country Bear Jamboree. This is a attraction that, uh, that has existed for decades and decades. Generations and generations have watched this show, but it ends, it ends today. Always been one of my favorite attractions. The animatronic bears singing comedy country songs. They're gonna be closing it down the end of the night. They are. They will return in some form. They are. They are creating a new show, uh, but instead, it appears instead of the, the comedy country songs, they will be singing uh, Disney songs. You know, Disney likes to uh, to put their uh, their intellectual property into things. Um, you know, something that I like when rides are standalone, when they have their own characters, their own backstory, their own lore. But Disney, you know, in recent years, has really liked to add their characters, their uh, popular songs, their popular. Uh, movies into different attractions. That's kind of what's happening here, and I, I'm not. I'm going to withhold judgment on the new show. I'm not going to complain about something until I've seen it. But um, it's 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 a big deal to me today. I, I love this show. I love these animatronics. I love singing animatronics, and uh, I feel it's just it's just a classic. Something I always love to stop in. Always love to check out Country Bears, and I know recently another one of my favorite attractions, Splash Mountain, that closed down. And that's being retooled. So a lot of you know, a lot of my favorites are changing, and um, I'm always excited to see new stuff. But at you know, the same time, it always makes me a little sad to uh, to lose these nostalgic attractions that you can go back uh, and enjoy. You can ride the, ride the rides, watch the shows that brings back a lot of memories of good times that you've had here at uh, at the Disney parks. And uh, I think you know there is some. Slightly edgy material in the current Country Bear Jamboree. A lot of the laughs are, are from some some jokes from maybe a different time. So that may play into the role, that, into the reason they're changing it to make it a little more, uh, a little more for modern sensibilities. But uh, yeah, definitely want to uh, to enjoy the show today on its last day, and uh, then yeah, after that, I guess we will look forward to the new version. So uh, please follow me. And I don't know what else there is to do, but. Head inside and check out the Country Bears. As we enter through here, you have this uh, some of these vintage posters, some of the old attraction posters here, and then uh, behind me we have the Country Bear Jamboree poster. I actually have the same poster uh, hung up in uh, in uh, my home. It's in my uh, staircase. I kind of have a lot of Disney uh, these vintage Disney posters in that staircase. So yeah, there's the uh, bears in the middle. That's the uh, five bear rugs, the uh, the band that plays in the center stage. And I don't know, you think they'll be taking this poster down at the end of the night? They may leave it up. I think they do have some vintage uh, uh, vintage posters from attractions that are no longer here in this walkway. I'd be interested to see if they take this down or leave it up. <laughs> Me and Adam, we're doing some research last night watching uh, different versions of the Country Bear show on uh, on YouTube, and they've actually shortened the show over the years. I think there's two whole songs that had been removed, as well as lots and lots of dialogue uh, cut out. You know, some of it I think they just cut out to make the show faster. Some of it they may have cut out. I think there was some, you know, some maybe some fat shaming jokes and things in there that that they took out to uh, to lighten the spirit of the show. Um, they also did a Christmas version of the show and then the, uh, what they called it, the Vacation Hoedown, which was a very interesting variation of the show. Kind of celebrated like summer vacation activities such as like fishing, hiking, 
going to camp, and then uh, the bear Shaker in that show was actually like, there was a scene where he's, he's fallen in love with an octopus and singing a love song to an octopus. So some real crazy stuff inserted in the uh, Vacation Hoedown uh, show. That was in like, I think it was dated 1991. So that's worth checking out if you, if you are into the Country Bears attraction. I am very curious to see what uh, the reaction is to the final day here. If there's gonna be a lot of people over there, if the shows are gonna be packed, if maybe the shows will be like filled where uh, you have to wait for the next show. Normally you can just walk in uh, anytime, the show never reaches capacity. So I wonder if we'll be reaching capacity today. I wonder if uh, people will be excited, people will be emotional. Just be interesting to see. We have entered Frontierland, and I immediately spot one of the country bears. They have Big Al. Big Al over here. Big Al, how are you doing, buddy? You excited about the, about the big day here? You gonna, you gonna put on a real good rendition of uh, Blood in the Saddle? Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you're knocking out of the park tonight and then we'll see it we'll see you again soon a couple months maybe you'll be back it's a brand new show maybe some new new tunes you're gonna sing with us oh 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 it's all secret he's it's not gonna tell us what's what's coming next we don't know blood on the saddle still there maybe not maybe so who knows I gotta get in here with you uh big Al. oh me and my buddy big Al so great to meet you so it was pretty exciting got to meet big Al right as we got here into Frontierland. And uh, there it is, Grizzly Hall, home of the Country Bear Jamboree. Let's uh, let's just let's go see the show. All right, looks like it's eight minutes until the next show. Continuous shows today from 11 to 9. I guess we just we're going to head in. Looks like there's still room. See the portraits of the bears in here. There is Wendell. He's a, he has, he has, he has a really funny song about, uh, about whooping little Buford. The five bear rugs here. This is Ted, who blows on the jug. Fred, who plays the harmonica. This is Tennessee here, who plays the one string thing. We've got uh, Zeke, the leader of the band. And then there is uh, Zeb here, who plays the fiddle. This is Henry, he's the master of ceremonies, kind of the host of Country Bears. And then there is his pet raccoon, Sammy. This teddy bear on there swings down from a giant swing from the ceiling. And as we enter here, there's a portrait of Big Al, who we just met outside. All right, so many different options on where to sit. So we'll just head all the way down, make sure everyone has room. See the uh, taxidermied heads there. That's Melvin Buff and Max there, the talking taxidermied heads. Yeah, honestly, I've stopped in here quite a few times. I've never seen it this crowded in here. See all the different advertisements for different bear-related uh, snake oil products. Now, let's get on with the show. Now, be patient. Yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. We're kind of hung up here. Give me a little intro there, Uh, the heads here move around, look around the whole show. There's old Liver Lips McGrawl. for Big Al. You beat me here, Adam. Hello, Jake. How many times have you seen it? This is, this is number four. Number four? And I get sadder each time. Oh no, you're gonna be really sad by the end I of the know. night. I know. And let me see, you got your, your Big Al shirt there. There's blood on the saddle. Just in time. I notice, uh, he got the biggest ovation of any bear in there. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely what everybody's here for. Oh, we got some more bears out on the street. 
<laughs> oh, what's happening here? Oh, Wendell! Oh, going right in, going right in for a hug. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're sad? I'm sad too! Oh, I'm so sad. I just saw you guys play. It, 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 it's gonna be sad in my heart because I'm gonna miss. I'll, I'll be happy to when you guys come back. You're gonna be, you're gonna be in the new show. You're gonna be singing the new show. Yeah. You'll be playing, playing your mandolin. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what's in the new show? Can you whisper it to me? Oh my goodness! I can't believe it. I, 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 I would promise I won't tell anyone. But that blew, that blows my mind. That blows my mind. Well, thank you, Wendell. Love that. Keep up the, keep up the mandolin plucking. And uh, I will see you soon. I'm, I'm gonna watch some more shows tonight. I'll see you in there. Awesome, awesome. High five. He's hey, saying that he's gonna be on the swing instead of sit Hedy Vera. All right. Okay. There you go. Oh yeah. We doing the swinging. <laughs> Amazing. Oh wow. That's the new show. We what a performance. Right. I don't even. Yeah. Preview. I, I preview of the new show. When it, when it happened, because I've already seen it. Yeah, I've already got it. I already got it in there. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. I don't know, you're, are you asking? I don't understand. He wants money. Oh, you want money? You take checks? You take checks? <laughs> what about uh, Apple Pad? A hug. Oh, look at that. Adam's getting the hug. Good to see you, buddy. I'm sad, too. We'll go on it later and watch it together. I'll meet you over there later for the last shot. All right, see you. Be positive. That was awesome. You sad, Micah? Uh, no, because they're not getting rid of it. It's just, it's just you know, it's just... It's getting a new flavor. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like new Pepsi or new so, Coke. Yeah, when, a, when a band you like puts out a new album, yeah, you're not sure. You're not sure At what you're gonna make you're of like, it. Like man, they sold out. Then you're like, nah, they still got it. They still got it. <laughs> they still got it. <laughs> Movie ride. Shaker, Shaker, how are you doing? Where's he going? Is he marching away? Is he just waving at everyone? Can you do yeah, 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 do your little shaky dance. Can you do the shaky dance? Here he goes, here he goes. Limbering up. <laughs> He's shaking. That's some good shaking right there. Good move. He's giving a window a run for his money. Oh, wow. Window was showing us some new moves. Look at that. Do it, do it. With a little, there it is. You're doing the shake. Yeah, I'm doing it. Come on, everybody. Everybody, do the shake. Come on. Woo! Yeah. Great performance. Woo! Shaker, 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 shaker. Once again, reminding everyone out there, me and Micah, World of Micah, two separate people. I don't believe you. Adam has two. Adam has two friends. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Look at this. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It is a Big Al Furby. <laughs> Furby. Does he does he sing? Can he sing Blood I on the Zap? I wish. Yeah, he's stuck yeah. like that forever. Country Bears and Furby, two great tastes <laughs> that go great together. It's amazing. Thank you. I think we're gonna head back in. I think we're gonna watch another round. I've never seen this before. We're actually wrapping the queue line around the building to get in. Normally, you can just walk straight into the lobby, no matter uh, how soon it is till showtime. See people spilling in. <laughs> people get, get hyped. Right, don't growl. I think you should shoot him instead. You can see them talking there. They used to have lines. They've been uh, removed from the show. The guys have turned me on, turned me down. <laughs> Here comes Teddy Vera. <laughs> oh wow, people look really excited. <laughs> oh, people going wild. <laughs> Take a little water break from the shows. 
and uh, grab a water over here at uh, Big Al's, which is a little gift stand here. Yeah, Big Al's got his uh, his own little uh, a little gift pavilion here. Oh, well, let's see, so many waters to choose from. Make sure. Yeah. But I think it is time for another show. We have Ernest, the fiddle player there, and then Shaker. We met him outside doing a little shaking dance. And then Trixie there with her glass of wine and her tears. Adam, what do you want to do next? I'm thinking maybe country bears. Sounds good. Ain't I'm a married man? She says she ain't gonna stay with you. She ain't pretty, but I ain't too. Back in. It's over there, Drew. You got quite a collection there. You got all the bears? Not all of them. Not all of them. There's some. It's got to be all, just about all of them. Yeah. Okay. Big Al there, Henry. Who's your favorite bear? Uh, I think Big Al. Big Al. Yeah, I think mine too. I think we're gonna take a food break. We're gonna head right next door to the adjoining building and have some uh, Pecos Bill Tall Tale Cafe. A big fan of the Pecos Bill cartoon. Remember it as a child, of course. A big fan of Tall Tales, of, uh, of American legends. Of course, Pecos Bill, the ultimate cowboy. You can see a picture of old Pecos Bill over the fireplace there. The lassos, his hat. There is Pecos Bill's Pistols right there. Now they used to actually have a toppings bar over here. Almost like Fuddruckers where you had all these things you could put on your burgers or tacos. So they've actually eliminated that. So sad. One of my favorite Easter eggs here at uh, Disney World. You have Paul Bunyan's axe hanging here in Pecos Bill's Cafe. The fellow uh, tall tale of fellow American legend, you see engraved in the handle of the axe, two Pecos from one giant to another, best wishes, Paul Bunyan. Dining area in here, a little Mexican village. Did you get a little salad there? That actually looks pretty good, Adam. Yeah. I didn't think the nachos would be enough, so I wanted to get a little something extra. Oh yeah, it looks really good. I got the fajitas here. And you know they don't have the topping bar anymore, but there it is. Uh, there's my little, my little cup of toppings, and they give me some sour cream and uh, salsa as well. And I kind of just arranged my fajitas here in just a giant pile, where I can shovel it into my mouth. <laughs> Which I don't even know if this is. I think this is <laughs> shredded pork, maybe. Yeah, I think these are pork fajitas. Some beans in there, pretty good. Oh, look who came back out! Oh, look at that! You're at the whiskers just for you. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Hey, hey, big Al. Doing good? Oh, I like my button chops. <laughs> oh, it's Chip, Chipper Dale. I can always get him confused. Oh, look at that! 
He's got his own little, own little big owl there. Oh, some, there's an occurrence happening. What's going on? Oh, oh there's a hoedown happening. A hoedown has just broke out here in the middle of the street. Are you gonna join the hoedown, Big Al? Oh, there he is. He's getting in there. Oh, turn around, Big Al. Close to Clarabelle joining the, the hoedown here. Oh look, there's horse, horse, horse collar there in the back. This hoedown just keeps getting better. Oh, look at that. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Good luck, Big Al doing the hokey pokey. We got Trixie over here joining him. All right, Trixie is here. You look awesome. <laughs> and I did cry a couple times, but you know what they say. No ugly cry. It'll be alright. Y'all go have fun out right here. We will. Thank you. <laughs> so you just told me. This was not only your last time on Country Bears, but also your first. Yes, it was. Did you like it? It was amazing. It was so fun and wild and weird and just perfect. It's amazing. I'm hoping that I'm hoping the new show is, is as good, but uh, I, think it, I think it will be good. But just it was great to see the original thing. It's been here. Yeah, glad you caught it before it uh, before it was gone. Oh, here's a here's a deep cut right here. The Camp Grizzly from the this is from the vacation overlay. Adam asked me. He said, "Do you think?" There will be someone wearing a Camp Grizzly shirt. This is the guy. And look at that. Him. Without further ado, I think we're going to check out the Country Bear Jamboree. It's actually starting to be a little bit more of a line for these shows. This is the last portrait that I haven't shown. This is a Gomer, the uh, bear that plays the piano. And over here we have the Country Bear Pressed Penny Machine. See, there's eight different designs. That's a lot of different designs. They have a large number of the bears there. So I think we're gonna get ourselves all eight for $5. All right, swipe my credit card. Beautiful See a penny, oh, there you go. It's starting to drop and, uh, and turn there. Cranking out our pennies. Oh, just fell on the ground. Maybe I'll put my hand there to catch the pennies, to keep them from uh, keep them from flying out. These are hot, hot pennies, hot from being smashed. It's probably hot because I've been cranking out so many pennies today. What people want is a souvenir. I think this is one of the only Country Bear souvenirs they have available right now. I didn't see any shirts or anything like that, so I'll take what I can get. Hopefully, I can keep these smash pennies for the rest of my life and uh, not have to worry about losing them. Did I get all eight? Yeah, that's eight. There are the eight collectible smashed Country Bear pennies. You got Big Al there. Got a bunch of the different characters. And uh, there's Liver Lips. This will be a collector's item because they're actually changing his name to Romeo McGraw. So yeah, I'll hold on to these with my life. Line's going all the way back here now. This will be show number six for me. Great photo here that Kyle has. When did you paint this, Kyle? I painted this this morning at Animal Kingdom Lodge. There's an arts and crafts section. Oh, I thought you were going to say you did this when you were like a, a youngin. Oh, no. This see, is like a. No. The lifelong dream? I've been a lifelong fan of Big Al, and, you know, I drew this when I was a lot younger, and by a lot younger. <laughs> 
I mean, about hours ago. 30 minutes ago. He showed it to Big Al. What was his response? His reaction, he felt so loved. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, we, we're besties, and he doesn't really know it, yeah. but now he does. Well, if you keep so. showing him, you should get this tattooed on you, like maybe right so, here. Down my first full, tattoo. Full sleeve. Yeah. So there's blood on the saddle. Yep. And then blood on the... A big ground. old puddle of blood on the ground. Yep. A big old puddle. Puddle. Well, hey. Get on with the show. Al, Buff, be patient. Yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Get to gather your belongings and your husband too. The sun is setting on uh, the park, just kind of like the sun is setting on the country bears. Okay. Oh man, look at this massive humanity out here. Yes, the line has definitely escalated out here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is fishing into the. So you guys have been on been on 20 times so far? 20 times, yes. What's the best what's the best seat in the house? Front row. Front, front row? row? Front and center. We like Wendell. We love Wendell. Wendell. Wendell's your favorite bear? I think he's, he's he, he, he may be my favorite as well. I, 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 I had a moment with him earlier. Wendell the sunbonnet. Wendell's your favorite? 10 out of 10. So is show it's been kind of ramping up over the course of the day the, show, the the crowd getting more and more into it more and more wild so I don't think we're gonna hop right back in line and just see if it keeps ramping up from here 
I'm going to play it by ear. I think I'm going to get at least a dozen shows in this evening. Another packed house. To, uh, seven shows that I've seen. I'm gonna get out a lot. We're gonna get a line here for just a little bit. We're gonna kind of try to see if we can get into the last, last show, the very, very final performance. All right, actually walking around here to the side of the Pecos Bill Cafe, get to the uh, end of the line back here. Real long line building up. Apparently, they had some technical difficulties, a couple of the bears broke down during a show, but they must be back up because they are allowing people to get back in line. So uh, we are in line, they've just cut uh, the line off. I can't tell, okay. looking back there, okay. if we're gonna be in the, if there's 300 people behind us, we're not gonna be in the last show. But we, we, we should at least be in the second, the second to last show. Fingers crossed, hope the last show. I heard it's gonna be way better than the second to last show. It's about 9.15, the line really hasn't moved much, so I think they're still working on fixing uh, fixing the bears. Been in line for a little over an hour and a half and the line has moved in the sense that people are leaving the line and we're getting closer. Uh, it is about 10.38 right now. The ride's been broken down for probably uh, two hours or so after the, the, the people came out. The bears apparently have broken down. The uh, the, uh, the the Henry and liver lips have not. We're not moving. So uh, I guess we're just sitting here waiting, hoping that we can get in, hoping we can get ride one more ride. But uh, we don't know. I mean, the end. They may just. They just may be telling us, "Sorry, folks, the park's closed." They may turn the lights out on us. Wait, the doors. Oh, yeah. the doors just oh, yeah. opened I back there. I, I got. I don't know if that's a good sign or maybe it means absolutely nothing. There's. There's clapping, there's there's happy noises. Is that a good thing? Oh, so you said the the bears are bears are bears are not gonna come back up. They're broken. And uh they said that they're gonna give us a, a gift. They said to stay in line and we'll get a gift. So it looks like they're sending everyone through the theater, and I guess there's a gift, a present at the end. Yeah, instead of the final show, we get this interesting, somber march through the theater. No more shows. We do get a last show after all. Don't forget to gather your belongings and your husband, too. It's been good to have you. So long, folks. How long is forever? How soon is now or never? How long will these heartaches linger on? And I long my baby. Uh -huh. 
headed into the theater here one final time. Don't, sadly, don't get to watch the show, but at least we get to say goodbye. We'll miss you, country bears. See everyone in here. Just kind of hanging out, just kind of taking in the theater, saying their last goodbyes to the country bears. Yeah, everyone in here is saying goodbye, taking their final photos here in front of the stage. It's the country bears, those when those curtains open back up, it's gonna be a completely different, uh, completely different show. One more. Yeah, you can see the uh, stage here. We can get one little peek at uh, at Gomer right there. And you can also see Buford and the uh, Sunbonnet Bells down there as well. It'll be interesting to see what this room will look like the uh, next time. Next time we come down here. And happy trails until we meet again. All right, we get a free gift here. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. There is the poster for the uh, upcoming new Country Bear Musical Jamboree is the new name. And it looks like all the all the bears are returning in some form or another. Some new outfits, some uh, adjusted personalities opening, opening uh, this year. So we will be back. We'll say goodbye to uh, Grizzly Hall here. So wow, that was a wild night. Very interesting night there. So it turns out the uh, the final performance of the Country Bears was, uh, let's say, less than spectacular. Um, the Bears broke down. Two of the bears, it was um, Henry and uh, Liver Lips. They, apparently the animatronics stopped moving. Um, they got maintenance out there. They tried to, I think, work for several hours trying to get them back up. But uh, in the end, they did not, uh, were not able to get the the animatronics in working order. And they did not want, you know, Disney did not want to run a show with, with the unworking animatronics. So I definitely wanted to be in the last show to say that I saw the last show but that uh didn't did not happen but um what did happen it was it's just it, it, it's it, it's it was a very very fascinating night a night i will never uh never forget and you know just hearing people you know share their joy share their love to uh to sing along with the songs the sense of community that, that we all have something we love that we can share in together i think that's uh that was amazing tonight and that was in the air and in, in the end that's what uh, what really matters. It's really unfortunate, obviously some really awful timing to have the bears break down on their last day in a, in a state that is, uh, they could not be, that they could not be fixed. They actually, um, you know, that it, it's unfortunate, but it's just bad timing. It's no one's fault. You know, obviously uh, no ill will out there towards everyone, the staff, was working super hard today and uh, you could just tell the passion that uh, that they have for what they do um i was when you, one of the the cast members was or two of the cast members when we went in were singing some of the songs uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, she had a beautiful the, the one that was singing on the microphone had the beautiful voice they're putting all their energy into it just showing the passion that they had for what they do and in the end you know that's you know i saw the show Saw the show uh, six, uh, was it no seven times today? So got my got I got a, I got a fair share of the show, uh, but to see that passion uh, was was very fascinating as well, and and, and, and and kind of a different end, a somber end really. Um, you know they let everyone into uh, into Grizzly Hall to kind of just say goodbye. We didn't get to see the bears. Well, we got a little peek at the bears, but, you know, we didn't get to see the bears perform. You know, we didn't get to, uh, to give a real goodbye to, uh, to the bears, but, you know, we were there in spirit and you just see people hanging out and, and, and just saying their goodbyes, you know, saying, uh, so long to something they loved. And you know what? I may have waited in a line for, uh, for two hours 
to see a show that never happened, but uh, I got a, I got an interesting experience that I'll never forget out of it. And we got uh, we got a free poster too. They also gave uh, gave a free uh, a free fast pass for tomorrow. I'm not going to be at the parks tomorrow. I have other plans for tomorrow. I actually have some relatively big plans tomorrow. Hopefully everything goes uh, goes smoothly. Hopefully it goes a little smoother than uh, than tonight. But uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't regret. You know, I don't. I'm not disappointed. Not regretful. Um, I'm glad I was here for the for the last night because you know, you see something just something special when when people are that passionate. You know, I'm very passionate about a lot of things, and um, to see people that, that that love something, that appreciate something, it, it, it's always uh, always puts a smile on my face. And tonight really put a smile on uh, my face. As sad as I am. You know, they're not gonna say, you know, there is a certain level of sadness that, um, yeah, that that show's gone. That show, that, that means a lot to me. One of my, one of my favorite shows, you know, my favorite thing about the Disney parks, it comes down to the animatronics. And that's just a classic show. It had um, a certain sense of humor to it. You know, some would say an outdated sense of humor, but, uh, but it was just, it was a great show. It was a great show that has entertained people for uh, generations. Um, people have watched that show. People have grown up with that show. Uh, people watch that show with their parents. And then people watch that, then those same people watch that show with their children. Um, as did I, as did I um, came out and saw it on my first trip to, uh, to Disney World, you know, with my mom and my sister and um you know and then i got to see that show with my daughter and um yeah i don't you know progress happens you know it's just it, it's not it's not something that can be avoided and um when they announced that they were making the new show i um i was disappointed but in some ways i was relieved because um they they're keeping the show in some form and it'd be really easy for them to just say the show's going away forever um i apparently at one point the plan was to get rid of the show get rid of the bears permanently but um they're sticking around they're sticking around so we uh didn't say uh goodbye forever we said uh goodbye for now and uh we will uh we'll judge this show on its own uh, own merits when uh, when we come back uh, later this year hopefully get a chance to see it but um, thank you guys so much for coming along it was a very fascinating interesting night that I will never forget and uh, until next time this one's in the bag